The dense, towering trees of the forest cast long, twisting shadows that danced eerily across the forest floor as I ventured deeper into the wilderness. The air was thick with the pungent scent of damp earth and decaying leaves, mingling with the faint hint of something sinister, an instinctual warning that sent shivers down my spine. I had heard the stories, the whispered tales of a cryptid lurking in these woods, a creature of darkness and dread that haunted the nightmares of those who dared to tread its domain. They called it the shadow in the woods, a creature of myth said to be neither flesh nor spirit, but something altogether more malevolent. But as I ventured deeper into the heart of the forest, my curiosity outweighed my fear driving me onward in search of the truth that lurked just beyond the shadows. With each step, the underbrush grew thicker, the trees closing in around me like silent sentinels guarding the secrets hidden within their depths. And then I saw it, a flicker of movement amidst the trees, a dark shape darting through the undergrowth with unnatural speed. My heart skipped a beat as I froze in place, my senses on high alert as I strained to catch another glimpse of the elusive creature. The forest seemed to hold its breath as I stood there, the silence broken only by the rustle of leaves and the distant cry of a lone bird. And then, with a sudden burst of movement, the creature emerged from the shadows, a towering figure with eyes that gleamed like burning coals in the darkness. My breath caught in my throat as I stared at the creature in awe and terror, its form twisted and unnatural, like something out of a nightmare. Its eyes bore into mine with a fierce intensity, devoid of warmth or humanity, as if peering into the depths of my soul. But even as fear gripped me like a vice, a strange sense of determination took hold a primal instinct urging me to confront the creature that lurked in the darkness. With trembling hands, I reached for the flashlight at my side, the beam cutting through the darkness as I dared to make contact with the beast. The creature lunged backwards at the sight of the light, its form covered in darkness as it retreated into the shadows once more. But I refused to back down, my heart pounding with adrenaline as I pursued it deeper into the forest, determined to unravel the mysteries that lay hidden within its depths. For hours, I chased the creature through the tangled undergrowth, my senses heightened to the slightest movement or sound. But no matter how fast I ran or how closely I pursued, the creature always stayed one step ahead, its form slipping through my grasp like smoke on the wind. And then, just as I thought I had lost it for good, I stumbled upon a clearing in the forest, a small glade bathed in moonlight, its beauty a stark contrast to the darkness that lurked just beyond its borders. But as I stepped into the clearing, a sense of dread washed over me, a feeling of being watched, of unseen eyes peering out from the shadows that surrounded me. With a sinking heart, I realized that I had walked straight into the creature's trap, a prisoner in its twisted game of cat and mouse. With a sudden burst of movement, the creature emerged from the darkness, a towering figure with eyes that glowed with an unholy light, its form shifting and twisting in the moonlight. And as it advanced towards me, its intentions clear, I knew that I was facing something far more terrifying than I had ever imagined. With a cry of terror, I turned and fled, my footsteps echoing in the silence of the night as I raced through the forest, my heart pounding with fear and desperation. But no matter how fast I ran, the creature was always right behind me, its presence looming like a shadow in the darkness. And then, just when I thought all hope was lost, I stumbled upon a small stream, a shimmering ribbon of silver that cut through the heart of the forest like a lifeline in the darkness. With a surge of adrenaline, I plunged into its icy depths, 
the cold water washing away the fear and exhaustion that had gripped me as I emerged on the other side, gasping for breath and dripping with water. I glanced back at the forest behind me, half expecting to see the creature's twisted form looming in the shadows. But to my relief, there was nothing but silence, a stillness that hung heavy in the air, broken only by the gentle rustle of leaves in the breeze. With a shudder, I turned and fled into the night, the memory of the encounter burning like a brand in my mind. And though I knew that I would never forget the terror that lurked in the heart of the forest, I barely had escaped with my life, a survivor of the darkness that dwelled within its depths.